Welcome back. Megan is still here with us. Jenna is still here with us. Alyssa is still here with us. Megan, Sanity Corner or I Feel Petty this week? I'm actually going to do Sanity Corner, shockingly. I'm in a good mood. The Lexapro is kicking. Um, (laughs) It's my anniversary, so shout out to my husband. Love you. You're cool. And then also, I had an organizer come. And And that may sound like something for the elite. I don't believe it is. If you're in the business of trying to treat yourself around the holiday season. Um, I think that organizers end up being pretty affordable. And she came, helped me clean out my closet, put things on prettier hangers, loaded it back in, and then took away everything I was donating. Because I'm one of those people all like, I'm going to donate all this stuff. And then it sits in my car for three years. And so that was like massive for me. And I got to chat with her. I got to find out about her relationship. Like it was kind of like I had a, I paid for a friend to come help me clean. <laughs> and it was, it was amazing. I found her on an app and I'm sure that like they're everywhere far and wide, but it was money so well spent and I did not have her do anything but my own stuff. She did not touch anything for the baby, my husband. It was just something for me and I loved it. Ooh, amazing. I'm I'm going to maybe hit you up for who that. Okay. Who that Allie. Was. Allie, I'll give you her number. Okay, yeah, do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm leaving town for a while, but uh when I come back, I'm going to want to throw her. away all my shit. Uh, I yeah. have actually multiple organizers on in my phone, so I'll give you Allie and Rachel. Love them both. Okay, awesome. Um Alyssa, Sanity Corner or I feel petty this week. You guys, I'm going to do Sanity Corner. And first, I'm going to ask you all, have you ever watched the Jane Fonda documentary about the making of We Are the World? No. I didn't think so. You're welcome (laughs) for this gift. Um, I was overcome. I've watched it before, but I think I really needed it now. It is the most uplifting, goosebumpily thing you could watch. Did you know that all of the artists got together after the AMAs? Lionel Richie not only coordinated all of the We Are the World and getting all of the stars to come, but he also hosted the AMAs and then they left and they worked through the night, okay? Bruce Springsteen over here, Huey Lewis, Diana Ross, I mean, Dionne Warwick, everyone you could imagine. It was... Guys, I got to tell you, it was nothing but joy. And Jane Fonda's hosting of the doc, it's only like an hour, is so 1985 fabulous. It's like she does the quick turn and then. (laughs) (laughs) Like Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, what a fucking genius. Like I knew it, but watching him like conduct this orchestra of the fanciest people ever. And I think what made me feel so good about it is like, guys, I don't think that shit would ever happen now. These people dropped everything they were doing. Bob Geldof had just come from Africa because it was all for USA for Africa to help the famine. And he had just come back from there and gave everybody this like, who are we? This is what's happening. We have to help. And he gave like this real sort of like what he saw, eyes on the ground. It was just, and he was also like, let's not pat ourselves on the back. This is kind of the least we can do. And I was just, I kind of was like, God, was I meant to be Bob Geldof? Did I make a wrong turn somewhere? I think I could have coordinated something like this. But anyway, that's where I centered myself and I stopped because I really needed to center everybody else. (laughs) And anyway, I'm just telling you, if you are sitting there baking cookies or cleaning out your closet, put it on your iPad. Just watch it. It'll make you feel fucking groovy. It really will. Alyssa, yeah. you don't think the Imagine video was our version of that? <laughs> you know what? Oh, God. Actually, when you watch this, when you see Christy Brinkley dropping off Billy Joel, when you see Ch- Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder, it is like, you guys, honestly, I'm getting a little verklempt just talking <gasps> about it. Turn it on. Enjoy yourself. Merry Christmas. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, well, I I will maybe watch it in the car on my. You'll bike. enjoy it. It won't. <laughs> Aaron, it won't do you dirty. I'm about to Everything go. Everything you're saying is so bleak right now. <laughs> uh, well, I actually have a sanity corner this week. Um, so for maybe years, but it's kind of come to a head in the last few months. I've realized that something really missing from my life has been. Um, a plate that is actually also a bowl, like a plate bowl. And there's, and things are either bowls or plates. It's very difficult to find a plate bowl where you could have like a plated food or something a little soupy in it. Anyway, I found some plate bowls. 
uh, I, I found some in little Tokyo and I got a set of some like perfect plate bowls and um, you can put, eat a curry, you can serve a curry and rice on them. You can just have like a steak on them and it, it's a really, salad, a salad, a salad. Yes. It's per, they're perfect for a salad because like no lettuce is falling off the edges of the plates. Although lettuce is really expensive now, I guess, because of some, some California thing. I don't know. Lettuce is going to get you a surcharge at restaurants. But anyway, um, if, you can afford salads at this point. Uh, a plate bowl is great. And I'm I'm so glad that I found them. And it's really making me happy. These just one small thing in my kitchen making me feel great. It's delightful. But, yeah. That's my sanity corner. Jenna, are you feeling petty or do you have a sanity corner this week? I have a sanity corner. What? We um, went four for four sanity wow. corner? Wow. That's a rare. Because we, we are slogging it across the finish line. We are really, <laughs> really slogging to the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> It's so basic, but I really enjoyed White Lotus. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just I enjoyed like I wanted to binge it, but I also like that HBO was like, no, 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 <laughs> one at a time. And I just I enjoyed all the characters. I really I know that there was criticism about it, but I just it was something I don't watch a ton of TV. So when I do, I like to make it count. And I really liked it. Mm hmm. Yeah, were you yeah. surprised by uh, the ending? End? No, I mean not at all. But I think I just the the tension. I, I really appreciated the tension, like how fleshed out each of the characters were. It just kind of felt. It just was really. I thought it was well done, and I actually enjoyed. I like looked forward, you know. And I don't have a lot going on right now. I'm I'm taking care of an infant, so that was a nice reprieve. On on White Lotus finale day, it was like the first thing I thought of when I woke up. I was like, oh, White Lotus finale day. White Lotus finale day. It's, yeah, it's really fun to, I'm two episodes behind, but it's really fun to have appointment viewing with the with the rest of the country in some way, you know? And, and so that feels like a throwback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like we're all, we're not so divided. We're all. Yeah. Yeah. We're all watching White Lotus. <laughs> We're all watching it like it's the Z- Zapruder film. Like everyone was like, talk about online rabbit holes. That was, I got on <laughs> White Lotus TikTok and I'm still on White Lotus TikTok. I'm still yeah. seeing fan theories about what happens in the final episode. And it's like, I've already seen the final episode, but. I think I've decided I'm going to be Mia for Halloween, you know, <laughs> just have, like a little <laughs> piano. <laughs> <laughs> amazing well thank you that's all the time we have that's all the time we have for uh for this week's show megan and jenna thank you so much for joining us it was great chatting with you Alyssa. thank you for being my ride or die and most of all thanks to you our listeners 